Hi guys, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, my I just I forgot my mare. I forgot my mare was so stinking cute. Um so I've had the brilliant idea of actually writing down things that I'm going to do in my videos because I always start the video with a plan and then forget like half the stuff I was going to do. Uh, so I've got a little list here. Let me just run over it here. On top in big old capital letters it says nighttime. So we're playing at nighttime so check a -roo on that one. Uh, change eye color. Build new PWP? Question mark. Remove camping cot. Blathers. Move in Ville. All right, that's uh, that's a to-do list. I like a to-do list. Um. Oh, so I was plan. I should have written this down. It's I I'm playing at nighttime so that I can show you my house at nighttime and like the the eerie blue glow of everything. Okay, see here. Look, you see what I mean? It's just a nice eerie. I don't know if it's eerie, but it's it's more magical than it not being blue <laughs> I guess so if I turn the lights on it looks like that obviously that's not what I'm going for um, but then even if I like hold on turn this lamp off it's just dark and this still looks good uh, I just really don't know if I like the blue glow or or if I I like it plain plain and dark I don't know. Maybe I should just do the blue glow for, uh... It definitely looks good in my little potion enchantment room. Definitely a big fan of the blue glow in here. See? It works in here. It works perfectly. <laughs> um, I think it needs it in here, honestly, to make it, make it feel a little bit more magical and real. I'm still not sure about that Aquarius urn back there. Ah! Forgot that rupee was there. <laughs> um, but yeah. Big A plus on the on the blue glow in here. Uh, yeah, my kitchen doesn't have the blue glow. So my bedroom does. Oh, I should have showed you the basement. Because the basement definitely looks good with the blue glow as well. And my bedroom also looks good with it, I think. I mean, it definitely looks good with it. But as far as, I don't know, preferring... It or not, I don't know. Okay. So this is it without the blue glow. I might... I might like it just dark and plain better. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try it. Try it like this for a little bit. Tell me what you think. I'll go show you my basement really quick. Margot is now sitting on my list of uh, my to-do list for this video, so if I forget something, it's Margot's fault. I don't know why I literally just started making to-do lists. I've been doing this for like, what, over a year? Took a long hiatus because my 3DS was broken, but <laughs> just now actually planning things out a little better. So yeah, I love, love the glow down here. It just, this looks too plain, but this... This is magical. This is this is where it's at. Uh, I like it. Okay. Man, I need to do stuff with San's house R real soon. Like r real soon. <laughs> uh, I just don't know what I want to do. I probably want to use that mossy, is it called the mossy carpet? I think the same uh, carpet that I'm using downstairs I want to use in San's house, I believe. Who sent me a letter? Oh, right. I forgot to toss it. Oh, it was Eric's birthday party letter. I think that's on the 27th. Okay, I need to pick up some of this stuff. Oh, never mind. I can't. Pocket's full. What's in my pockets? Lots of stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I caught a flea. I'm just gonna release that flea, since I've already got one. In, uh, in my museum. God, Margo just... <laughs> shook her her head and her fur is everywhere oh yeah the kiki and lala pin that's something from the uh welcome amiibo update and i was going to put it on the mannequin upstairs in my bedroom and it just didn't look right basically it just didn't look right um oh, i need to plant these tulips 
I'll just, yeah, I'll just throw them back here for right now. God, my nose is kind of runny. I don't know why. I don't want to be sick. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, nope, not what I wanted to do, but it is cute, the Kiki and Lala wand. Okay, that I'm gonna put on the ground. Ninja sword I'm gonna sell, that I'm gonna sell. The ruby, actually, I might put it in my house. This I'm gonna keep for people to wear. Okay, the fossil, I, so I need to go to Blathers, that's one thing on my list. I don't really need to go fishing, I'll keep that there. The large bookshelf, I just got one too many. So I can sell it. Okay. That's everything I need to pick up from right here. That gyroid, I'm gonna, gyroid, guys, I don't know how to pronounce things, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm gonna end up putting some of them around town, just because they look cute like that. They look sort of like little, uh, well, there's a mosquito after me. I like letting them get really, really close, and then running away. So yeah, they look, uh, they look kind of like forest spirits, I, I think. I don't want to overdo them, though. I'll, uh, experiment with them, see how I like them. So yeah, I like Kodama better at night, because yesterday I played during the daytime, and... Oh, a poltergoid! See? That's nice. Oh! Did I already delete the camping cot yesterday? I guess I did. And I didn't even think about it. Huh. How funny. Well, I'm gonna- well, I don't want to put the... the poltergoid, it's like a poltergeist. It fits in with the, the spirit theme so well. I don't know what I'm gonna put right here. I think I want to move this sign down a little bit, because it just doesn't look great right there. I think. I don't know. Okay. Um, Margo, you're on my list. She just likes sitting on paper, is her thing. Okay, let's go up towards Main Street. I have some fossils sitting out, like, right below Main Street, so I'll go and pick those up and take them to Blathers. Um, we'll check and see who's in the campground while I'm here. Oh, and I'm really glad you all liked the, uh, visiting, you know, your dream town video. If you haven't checked that out, you, you should. Oh, who is this? Is this Pascal? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I visited, I think, five people's dream towns. Oh my goodness, it's Chip. This is the first time we've seen him, because it's not bug catching season, or er, not bug catching, uh, fish catching season right now, I guess. Uh, you live here, don't you? Sure hope I'm not being a nuisance or nothing. Just holler if I am. Nyuk nyuk. <laughs> He's wearing a little fishing vest, of course. His description says he'd fish all the time. If only he could catch a single fish. Nevertheless, Chip loves the great outdoors and visits as many campgrounds as he can. Aww. Thanks for visiting, Chip. So you can get sea view, wall, ship deck floor, a bunch of different fish and sushi items, the freezer, kitchen counter... Ringside table. This is a new thing that I haven't seen before. Oh man, that's a lot of sushi. So is that. So is that. <sighs> now I want sushi. No fair. Well, I am so happy to see a new new camper in here. <laughs> All right, on out. I was talking about something before, and I just do not know what I was talking about. That happens to me a lot too. Oh, Dreamtown. <laughs> yeah, I visited five people's uh, dream towns that they had just left comments asking me to visit, so I visited a few of them. Um, and if you want me to visit your dream town, I, I will link that video in the description box. You should go and watch it if you want to, or just comment uh, your dream address and your town name and your name and any social media profile you want me to credit, and I will do more of those videos and visit more people's towns. Clay says, hi, Lady M. It's already dark. Where'd the day go? So, what can I do for you? 
I wonder if there's a way to make my room look cooler. I know, Lady M. Do you have any furniture you could recommend to me? Anything will do. I trust your taste, Tinderfoot. Okay, what do I have in my pockets? I have a large bookshelf and a ninja sword. Clay could use a ninja sword. He needs to protect himself. He's a small little guy. You likey? You likey the ninja sword? Wait, who gave me the ninja sword? It wasn't Clay, was it? I hope. Okay, good. <laughs> I had my eye on a ninja sword just like this one. Wouldn't that be embarrassing if you gave someone back a gift that they give, gave you? <sighs> Here, take this as a thank you present. What is it? It's a sleep closet. Thank you, Lady M. Okay. That's a nice present. Not one that I'll use, but thank you. Oh, and there's Kitty up there. Is she gonna ping me? No, no pings. Hey, it's Lady M. It's been so long. Oh, I've been kind of lonely in Kodama without you around. Drop me a line every so often, would you? Aww. Oh yeah, I need to move somebody in. Uh, I will do that after I'm done on Main Street. I just need to go up to Main Street. Ah! Oh, I needed to go to... <laughs> I need to sell the things in my pockets. Sell the things in my pockets to Reese at retail. Y'all can probably hear the rain. Uh, I think it was also raining yesterday when I was filming, and it literally just started raining like 10 minutes before I started filming. I... No, I don't want to sell that. That, 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 that. That, and that, and that. <laughs> I want to sell. I'll buy five of these, but you'll have to pay a fee to dispose of two of them. I can give you 7,000... Wait, actually, I think I want to keep that pouch. Or I think I have another pouch. I think I have another one. Yeah, I think I have another one. Thank you, come back with more anytime you like. I don't... Okay, I don't have anything with Cyrus right now. Who just came in? Aw, it's Clay. Hi, buddy. You better not be here to sell that ninja sword. I gave it to you special. To protect yourself. Okay. Now let me... How many spaces do I have in my pockets? Okay, I have room for all those fossils up there. And more. So there's that one. Let's... Whoop. Pardon me, trees. Still waiting on that one fossil. <laughs> I know I didn't dig up all the fossils from today, but I've had some sitting around waiting, so I wanted to go. Oh, look, it's baby Coco. Fancy seeing you here, Misha. I'm so glad I ran into you. I'm definitely going to move her back in um, at the very end of every of everything. I'm going to replace, use the save editor to replace my... Uh, my villagers I don't want with some of my dreamies or uh, just the villagers I want to have with houses that look nice in my town, basically. Uh, they work with the forest theme very well. I'm going to have, like, Coco back and Teddy and Elmer's going to be back. And who else was I going to do? I can't remember who else, to be honest with you. I've got a little list somewhere. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. All of these are simply quite smart. So tired of hearing him say that. <laughs> but thank you, Blathers. Nothing else. Okay, now to go change my eye color. <clears throat> Did I tell you guys yesterday? I don't think I had officially decided yesterday. But my last day in my office- maybe I did tell you, I can't remember. My last day in my office job is going to be April 4th. Yeah, I told you, because I remember I said Joey's birthday was the next day. And I'm- oh, I'm so ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna be getting a new tattoo a few days after I quit my office job. Um, color contacts, please. It's going to be some pink flowers on- my chest, basically. You know how people do, like, chest pieces. Um, if y'all know the YouTuber, uh, Claire Marshall, you can look her up, and it, she has the tattoo that I want, but I'm gonna get my... The flowers are gonna be styled a little bit differently. Um, 
and I think her flowers are purple and I want mine to be more of like a peachy pink sort of color um, and just shaded a little bit differently uh, but I'm going to get that very soon after quitting my office job and then probably a month or so after quitting my office job how many times am I gonna say office job I'm gonna dye my hair this color that my mare has and I'm so excited Uh oh I didn't look up the guide um, cuz I feel like I'm gonna say something the last time I changed my eye color which was like forever ago uh, I think I've only changed my eye color once, maybe, but I did the wrong thing. Eye uh, color guide, yeah. And I ended up with these kind of stormy blue eyes, and they're really, really nice, but they just don't exactly match my, uh... Okay, cool. Fast guy. Um, they just don't look completely right with my hair color, and plus, my eyes in real life are, are a really, really dark brown. So, it will look a little bit more like me this way. It. She. I guess it's an it. It's a pixelated thing. Ta-da! It looks fabulous! That'll be 3,000 bells. Yay! Oh, she looks so good. Oh, I really, really like it. <laughs> I might end up changing the hairstyle to the one that I had before where it was kind of like the long straight hair with the bangs across the top. Uh, or, I mean, I don't know where else bangs would be. Um, <laughs> but I like this kind of loose. It just doesn't look as great with the witch's hat as I thought it would, I suppose. But I like the color. I like the color a lot. Alright, what am I doing now? Um change my eye color. Yeah, maybe I'll build a new public works project. Let's go talk to Isabel. Oh, I didn't have time to change the uh, little Kodama design here. It looks a little bit better at night. I mean, obviously, it just it's like two different colors mixed together. Um, and it would look alright if it was just an outline of grass, like these stones are. Uh, but since it's taking up a lot of the design, it just doesn't look right, so... Still need to play with it. Oh, what public work project do I want to do? I've gotten kind of all my main ones. Actually, I think... Hmm. I'm gonna look at the list of new ones, and if I don't see anything I really want to build in a, in a space that I already have open, I think I will get rid of something. Because I definitely want to get rid of that hammock um, above the river, above the river in like the upper left corner of town. I want to put something else there, and all of my street lamps. I think I want to replace with torches. So I might try that. And then there's a few other things that I think I want to change. Um, I should definitely put a statue fountain somewhere else. I just don't know exactly where. I might end up putting it in front of the town hall. Because that will look really nice. Or maybe I'll just kind of put it randomly in the forest somewhere. I'm not sure. The Zen street light would also look really good in this town. Maybe I'll do a little mix of both. Maybe I'll do a mix of the Zen street lights and the torches. Yeah, because the look that just looks so nice in a spirit forest. Okay. Uh, I also think I want the Zen garden somewhere. Hmm. Actually, I think I might want to do the Zen Bell beside... Yeah, that would probably look good. Like, right beside the town plaza. Kind of where my picnic blanket is right now. Because that picnic blanket, I just kind of put it there to have something there. Uh, yeah, so I think that'll look good. 
And yeah, I think maybe having the statue fountain, like, pretty much right here where this street light is, will look nice. And then having a lot of trees around it, maybe a couple more trees right here by Fauna's house to kind of separate it out a little bit more. Maybe I'll do one of the torches, um, like kind of down here, closer to the waterfall. Come on, Cosmos. Go away. Okay, they're not even... Come on. I don't want to accidentally talk to Isabel while I'm trying to <laughs> dig up the flowers. Okay, there we go. I also need to play around with the flowers a little bit more. I don't love the way they're laid out right now. Need to add some more mushrooms and stuff as well. Sorry, I was leaning away from the microphone a little bit. I hope I wasn't too quiet. Oh my goodness. What? Hello. How did those get up there? <laughs> um, they must have gone up there when I was spawning some black flowers in the save editor. I don't know. That's been a long time ago, though. <laughs> uh, oh no, she always gets lost right here. I always forget. Come here. <laughs> Alright, and then after I build this public works project, I'm going to go and invite a villager to move in. Oh, this is a fake rock. I just got really nervous about this rock being here. <laughs> this is gonna ruin everything. Yeah, I'm gonna move a villager in with the with an amiibo card, and then basically use the save editor to replace that villager with uh, with Elmer, since he moved out when I time traveled. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't even know what she said. She might have said something about it being too close to the uh, <laughs> the plaza. I wasn't wasn't paying attention. Okay, too close to the event plaza. Uh, why? How is that too close? It's like a few- it's definitely a few spaces away. <laughs> Forgot how picky she is about the event plaza. Stuff being close to it. Honestly, I'm- <laughs> I might build it a little further away from the plaza and then just move it right here. Because this is really gonna be the perfect place for it. Sorry, somebody just messaged me on Facebook. That normally doesn't happen. Do y'all even use Facebook anymore? I rarely use it. I think I get on, like... I mean, I definitely still have notifications on for it, so sometimes I'll get... get notifications. Uh, okay, okay. I get it, 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 I get it. Yeah, I get notifications from it, but I don't really, like, get on and scroll through people's posts or anything like that anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put it down here. Let's see what she says. What do you think? Ah! Uh, so close to the ocean. Okay. Okay, what about one space up? Yay! Finally! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna build it here, and maybe I'll end up keeping it here. Maybe I'll like it. Um, or I might use the save editor to move it up by the event plaza where I originally wanted it. It's, yeah, it's two by two, um, so it'll fit, like, exactly where... I'll probably put it one over, maybe? Like right here, one over from where the picnic blanket is so that we can have a uh, we, So that <laughs> there can be a dead- the tree right here so it doesn't cut it off. Uh, but it'll remove that bush and that tree. I don't know, I'll play around with it. Let's just donate and get it over with. Do I have enough money? How much money do I have? Oh, nice! I have so much money. <laughs> so much more than I even need. Truly blessed. Yay! Thank you, Lloyd. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> cool. Now- oh, sorry, bug. I scared you. So yeah, now I'm gonna go home. 
invite somebody to move in here. Okay, this this grass, this color grass, this everything is is growing on me. So I ate some figgy pudding earlier. Now I'm way too hyper. How can I slow down, Lady M? Um, run until tired. Bonk on the head. Pitfall. Pitfall. Um, none of these, either, neither of these two are safe, logical choices. So run until tired. What a great idea! I'll just keep running, and I'll throw some of, in th some of this. Happy dance. Woo woo. Aww. Ruby. Yeah, this this color grass this season is I'm warming up to it. I didn't really like it at first just because I guess just because it was so different from well obviously from the snow, but also from oh uh, do I have my lamp in here somewhere? Yeah, obviously different from the snow, but also different from, like, the fall grass color that I kind of had in my head as, like, the perfect grass color for Kodama. But it's, it's growing on me. Uh, I know there's one sitting out in the town, but that's the one that showed up for San. Oh, yeah, I do have another pouch. There it was. Cool. That was the one that showed up for San <clears throat> to, to get the lamp. Um... I'm trying to think where I have access to my storage. Uh, uh, I guess, uh, I think upstairs? <laughs> Maybe? Um, okay, yes, I have this. Finally, god. Uh, oh wait, no, it's sitting outside, isn't it? It is sitting outside. Ugh, sorry. I'll cut to when I have it. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> here we are with our magic lamp. Let's call Wisp out here. I love him. He looks so perfect in this room. Just so you know, I can't remain in your world without another person to possess. But that's okay. That lamp is way bigger on the inside than it looks. So if you have an animal across an amiibo, tap it on the bottom screen now. Oh, I didn't even pick an amiibo. Uh, 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 uh. Eh. There. <laughs> Felicity. <clears throat> Whoa, do I sound just like Felicity or what? So tell me, what is it you wish for? Move here, please. Now, to be clear, we're talking about the real Felicity, yes? I'll get in touch with your friend right away and communicate your request. Exciting! Just between the two of us, Felicity is all set to move in soon. Keep it a secret, okay? Well, I suppose it's back into the lamp for me, then. Here, take these meow coupons as a little thank you. I love granting people's wishes. Gets me out of the lamp for a little while, you see. Alright, bye, Wisp. Thank you. So tomorrow, Felicity will move in. Um... I'm debating if I'm- well, it might be tomorrow, it might be the day after. Normally it's the next day. I'm debating, like, letting her stay in town for a day or two and then replacing her with Elmer, or just going ahead and replacing her with Elmer. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and replace her with Elmer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so tomorrow, Elmer will be moved in, basically. Uh, sorry if you don't like me hacking villagers, I'm- it's my personal preference, and it's how I'm playing the game, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, Elmer just moved out whenever I time traveled and I want to get him back. So, uh, I mean, I like this little, this close up right here. Oh, I'm really happy with my mare, guys. <laughs> All right, I am done with this episode. Uh, if you want to follow my other social media, links are in the description box. If you want to watch that Visiting Your Dream Towns video, that link is also in the description box. Hopefully, I did not forget. Um, I'll be back up with another episode tomorrow. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.